hello guys welcome back to algo trading today we are going to discuss about bollinger bands how to calculate bollinger bands in python there are several technical analysis and tools available in the market however bollinger bands is one of the most important and basic technical tools or indicators that we use to take position or to do trading in the market so let's see how to calculate bollinger bands in python there are four easy basic steps first one is calculate mean second one you have to calculate standard deviation third one you have to calculate upper band which is mean plus two standard deviation and the fourth and last one is you have to calculate lower band which is mean minus two standard deviation here when i'm talking about mean and standard deviation remember we are talking about rolling mean and rolling standard deviation all right if you have guys uh if if you have not gone through my previous video to how to calculate a running mean and rolling standard deviation i will definitely recommend to go through my previous video about how to calculate a rolling mean and rolling standard deviation that will be easy for you guys to understand how to calculate both your best in this session all right Let's open a new Jupyter notebook and let's get started. First thing, we have to import three libraries from Python. First one is import numpy as np, import pandas as pd, and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Here, I did matplotlib inline because we are using Jupyter notebook. If you are using other IDs such as spider then you no need to do any matplotlib in line okay next one we have to import our data set I have a data set which is the stock price of reliance national stock exchange and I have saved in my desktop so what I'm doing I'm importing the, this data set from desktop so I'm creating a data frame name as df pd.readcsv equal to desktop which is my path where I have saved the file for you you might save in a different folder you can put the folder name here and then you put the file name of the csv file name which is for me it is reliance.ns.csv for you it might be different and then I put index call which is index call is dead it means that I want to start the indexing from the dead column okay now let's run this piece of code and let's import in this file here so once I done that let's see how our data frame is looking like okay so let's put df dot head so this means I want to see the first five row of my data set. This is the first five row of my data set, which is looking like open, high, low, close, adjusted, close, and volume. This is my data. This, this is my dead column. All right. Now let's see the last five row. So I have to put df dot tail and run it. So you can see the last five row of this data set. All right. Next, we have to calculate 30 days moving average or 30 days rolling mean and 20 days rolling standardization. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I will create two new column here. The first column name will be 30 MA close. This will be here. And the second column will be 20 STD close. This will be here. And this 30 days rolling mean data will be set on the first column here which is 30 MA close and 20 rolling standard deviation value, uh, value will be set on 20 STD close here right so basically what we are doing we are creating two new column named as 30 MA close and 20 STD close and we are calculating 30 rolling mean 30 days rolling mean and 20 days rolling standard deviation and we are 
saving the value in respective column okay so let's run this piece of code and now we have already run this so it means that the value has already been created and saved in a different uh, different two columns let's see how this data frame is looking like so df dot head however i am i have to see first 31 column here because if i will just put first five row so 31 row because if i want to see the first five uh, row then probably i might miss the value for rolling mean and rolling standard deviation because we are creating a windows of 30 and 20 right so run this now you can see this two new column has been created 30 ma close and 20 scd close okay and the value has been created here the moving average value has been saved in this column and the moving standard deviation value has been saved in this column now you might surprise why there is nan values right so as we are calculating 30 days ruling mean it means it is taking the first 29 values and do a and did a average and put into this uh, row right so it means that the first 30 first 29 value will be zero and exactly here same first 19 value it took first 19 value and did a standard deviation and put the value here right so for first 19 value here and first 29 value here will be zero okay so this is how you have to calculate your rolling mean and rolling standard deviation and set in two different column next step we have to calculate the upper band and lower band so this is how our first step we have to calculate we have already calculated mean we have done standard deviation now the third step is we have to calculate upper band which is mean plus two standard deviation and the fourth step is mean minus two standard deviation which is our lower band okay so now let's create upper band and lower band so let's create two new column which is upper and lower in our data frame and our upper column is nothing but it's just this column value the mean column value plus 2 into this column value so we are we are creating it two new column here one is upper one is lower here the upper column value will be this column value which is our mean plus 2 into this column value and the lower column value will be this column value minus 2 into this column value that's what i am putting it here my upper column value will, value will be this column value plus 2 into this column value and here lower column value will be this column value minus 2 into this column value so let's run this now we have calculated upper and lower uh, band so let's see how our data frame is looking like now so put df dot head and then first 31 row this is how it looks like um, here you go you can see there is two new column which is upper and lower and the value is, has been calculated and put it here okay so now we have calculated all the four so we have done with mean we have done with standard deviation now we did with upper band we did with lower band so now let's put all in one graph and see how it looks like okay so what what i do here i did put closing price moving average on closing price upper band and lower band and see how it looks like see this is how it looks like first one is my closing price which is my blue one yeah this is the blue one this is my closing price so the orange one is my average or mean all right if you see my closing price is around my mean 
it is going up here it is going down here but it is always around my mean now next one is my upper band which is green this is my green line the upper band and the last one is red which is lower band yep so i can see the closing price i can see the mean this is my upper this is my lower band so if you notice my closing price is always around my mean it is going up and down but then it is always coming back to mean even though it is going up or it is going down here the closing price is going up here the closing price is going down but then it is again coming back to mean so this is called the mean reverting nature of the stock price so anyway we are not going to discuss about the strategy or how you are going to place order or how you are going to generate signal to buy or sell to by using this bollinger bets we are not going to discuss that uh, the main intention of making this video is just to show you how to calculate the bollinger bands uh, in python hope this video will helpful for you guys and you can easily understand uh, how to calculate bollinger bands in python thank you so much for watching